We know how to calculate a year. It's how long it takes to come back to where you were. But it turns out, if you cut the number of days we live into the year, it doesn't divide evenly. It takes like 365 and a quarter days to go around the sun. Most people don't know. It's not actually 365 and a quarter days. It's a little bit less than a quarter. So you wait four years and put in a whole day, you put in too much. So every hundred years, you take out the leap day. By taking out that day, now you have overcorrected in the opposite direction. And now there's a day that you have to put back in. So every 400 years in the century year that would have not had a leap day, gets a leap day put back in on the 400 year rule. In the year 2000, it's a century year that wouldn't normally get a leap day, but it's a century year divisible by 400. So you put the leap day back in. So when every Everyone experienced the leap day in the year 2000, they're saying to themselves, of course it's a leap year, it's divisible by four. No, it's a leap year because it's a century year divisible by 400.